Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Zombie Gaming here again, and welcome to one of my first mod reviews. Uh, that you could, I guess, you could count the Slender mod as a mod review. Um, but today we are going to review the GLSL Shaders mod for the Technic platform. That's probably what all my mod reviews are going to be on. Um, but before I get started, I wanted to show the seed because this world is pretty cool. There it is right there. Uh, I'm just going to go into F1 and show us some awesome features of this. So as you, Actually, we should check out this temple first. I'm kinda, I kind of want to see it. I already... Uh, I was going to wait. I was going to wait to uh, for you guys to open the chest. Three diamonds. That's pretty nice. Some iron and gold. More iron and gold. Another diamond. That's not a bad temple. So yeah, if you guys want to check this out. Uh, we're going to go into F1 mode here. I want to see the zombie burning. Where is it? I want to see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, but yeah, the mobs look really cool. So first off, um, as you guys already saw, the torch animation, or the torch lighting, if you go indoors, kind of gives that kind of dungeon-y feel down here. Um, so, holy crap, what is this? probably going to be playing music in the background of this, so that's why. Um, but, as you can see, the clouds uh, cast shadows. Uh, it makes, like, a whole new dynamic landscape, which I really like. And then there's, like, the sun, which gets brighter and more intense as you look at it. So, it's, you guys can kind of see that. Uh, the desert is not bad at all. I really, really like the water. It's kind of derpy, but I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, but, uh, the desert is definitely, definitely, uh, very bright. Uh, and then the leaves, leaves are just, just really awesome. I wonder if I should uh, turn the graphics on fancy just so you guys can see uh, the coolness of everything. Um, so yeah, this is for 1. 4, or 1. 1.7.4, uh, but it doesn't really matter as long as you're using the Technic platform. Uh, there's a big lake. I don't like how the water looks kind of like black. It just looks like a tar pit, but it does make uh, does make this really cool. But this is a swamp, I believe. Uh, and as you can see, just the the dynamics of the leaves and the vines are just really, really awesome. It just makes this world really, really cool. Um, so I don't think animals have any special kind of animation to them. They just have some uh, bigger shadows, and your person has a cooler shadow as well. So that's another cool thing about the mod. Um, stone, I think, or, uh, or I, I saw stone a little bit ago, but I think stone, they did a really nice job with. If I can uh, pull that up. Like being shaded and all that. So let's just clear the inventory. I think it, it's uh, kind of a nice contrast between the area. Um, but overall, the shaders mod is really, really cool. Oh, I haven't seen the Taiga biome yet. That looks kind of cool. Wonder. That's really awesome. I love the leaves. Uh, but this is, uh, it's not super lag intensive as long as, first of all, you're not in full screen, and second of all, uh, you have some of the settings turned down. Uh, so, uh, that's what I'm doing right now, and I think the, uh, the lag is pretty fine. So, yeah. But, guys, I think that's going to do it for one of my first mod reviews. I will try to be doing mod reviews lots and lots uh, over the upcoming rest of the channel, I guess. Uh, so, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini review of the GS or GS GLSL Shaders mod. I will include the link to download it in the description but guys hope you've enjoyed if you did a rating would be much 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 appreciated remember to smash that like button subscribe if you want to i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time